wonderful. Um, to my channel hi everybody how are you all doing I hope you're doing okay and um, if um, I'm sure that by now you have seen clips of me birthday shopping um, at Canadian Tire and I am going to start off the vlog by probably um, determining absolutely that I am on my way now to purchase that item and I just calculated um, the total cost for two of those humongous pieces and it comes to um, $655.50 uh, Canadian funds with the sales tax included. Now I'm figuring as long as I can get to the bank and withdraw the money, it'll be smooth sailing after that. It's getting to the bank and actually making that huge withdrawal because I don't want to put it on my visa. A, a huge withdrawal, uh, to me, it's, it's the same thing whether I take out the money to pay visa or I take out the money to buy the um, uh, machine. It's the same thing, right? So I might as well pay cash for it. Um, my only concern is that it's going to be uh, a used and returned item. And so I'm anticipating having a problem with it. But in any case, I'm on my way now to purchase it. And so um, <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure that um, you've seen the clips. You've seen the size of it. Um, at least that one major item. And let me show you the space that I don't have room for. Just hold on. Um, there's possibilities I'm still cleaning around and, you know, trying to maintain um, some sort of order and, and neatness in my pantries and in my cupboards. But this is what I'm looking at right now because I don't want to store it away in the laundry room it probably wouldn't fit in those tiny wee cupboards anyway. Um, I, I can't store it all the way over there because I use it on a daily, almost daily, weekly basis. So I'm trying to figure out a space in here. And I'm showing you what I'm looking at right now, okay? Now, mind you, I haven't cleared out these cupboards since my birthday last summer. So, um... Please bear with me, and let's have a little tour of my messy Italian kitchen. So that is going to be quite a challenge for me. And um, I'm very sure that before I unbox anything, I'm going to have to tidy those and, and uh, throw away some more items that I don't really need or use and uh, make space for those humongous boxes. I think my best bet is um, on top of the refrigerator where the books are. Uh, I'm very sure that that huge box will fit there. And I have to make sure that it's very dust free because it's so dusty up there and I have a hard time reaching. So um, I think that'll probably be my best bet. As for the other piece, I'm gonna have to wing it, play it by ear. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get to the bank without having an anxiety attack. So I'm 
I, I wanted to share this with you, even though probably most women wouldn't. Uh, I've recently uh, hit another milestone in my very old age, very old and advanced age. And um, another sign of my advanced age was, um, now guys, I did this uh, less than a month ago and it came out perfectly clear. I've been doing this on my face all winter, all year, all summer, average once every couple of weeks, something like that. Uh, I can always, always tell when I'm due for one because my skin starts to look really dry and scaly up close, and I'm sure a lot of you have been noticing it. Um, in fact, I have to do one clip uh, for my coffee tasting test completely over again because it's horrific. Uh, I, I thought it couldn't possibly be me, but I know that it was. So guys, I went to do this again last night after having done it very recently. And I, I have to say also that in the past couple of years since I started doing this, I have seen a total of two hairs, two hairs. And normally I just do it for the dead skin cells after I exfoliate, you know what I mean? You would not believe the amount of fuzz, actual fuzz. I, I can't believe it. And it must be something that I have ingested very recently because guys, it's been years. I, I'm chalking it up. Now, as you can see, my hair is still flimsy, especially after the lemonade cleanse. But it grew, it got a little longer. I cut it in December. I, I cut about that much off, something like that, because they were all uneven lengths. And so um, I had uh, last month and this month, a bit of pork belly. I, I would say two small pieces like that at a time um, on a weekly basis, not daily, weekly. And I am chalking it up to that because the lemonade cleanse, I do it every year, it, that never happens. Um, maybe wine, I, I bought wine for some recipes in the past month and I had some wine, although not a whole heck of a lot, I bought some wine. Um, no, it can't be that guys. It has to be the pork belly. However, I want the hair to grow here and not here. I have been actually so pleased um, to find out during my research of the Amelia Earhart story that um, so much has transpired since her disappearance. And um, although I have encountered some ambiguous and very positive um, research stories. I, I can't wait to share them with you. It, it, she still has not been found. We still don't know what the truth actually is, what theory to follow. And so uh, I'm not going to be speaking, most likely I'm not going to be speaking on any of that today, but um, I am um, preparing something uh, I'm sorry to say that I have another three parts coming. I've just done part five. I'm sorry, guys, but I can't let this new information go. It's absolutely fascinating and mind-boggling, and um, it, it's it's awesome to realize that so many people are touched by Amelia's story. Um, her disappearance has... Um, 
put so many people into grief, and rightly so, because she was a great American hero, or heroine. Um, she, she was a wonderful, uh, dedicated, and, and lovely woman. And she was so ambitious and wanted to serve her country, not in a military sense, but in, in she wanted to do something for women. And I, I just find that so awesome that she had so many enduring qualities and traits and shared them with the world, literally. There is such a heavy and horrific order of burning smoke. It's awful and it's disgusting. So guys, technically, I haven't done any birthday shopping yet at all. I mean, I bought food. Um, I bought lettuce and I bought my Asian buffet. I bought ice cream, I bought cake. <laughs> That's it. Um, you know, I haven't bought anything technically for myself. And so will this be the start of something big? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Um, I did buy a couple of things that I needed. Uh, I bought a new dash mount and I also bought this hands-free stick and it also comes with a remote and a little light which is perfect for what I need and I'm experiencing a lot of harassment in this parking lot but um, anyway, if you remember back at Christmas, I spent a whole lot more than 75 bucks. And so um, I'm going to just mosey on for my walk and maybe blow off some of this um, anxiety and this steam that I'm experiencing right now. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll catch up with you a little bit later. machine in front of you. I bought one attachment. That's about all that I think I'm going to need. And um, I was, I have to tell you that the price that I quoted you uh, before I left the house today was about $5 less um, more. I was $5 off. So it came to um, six forty three something instead of six fifty five you know what I'm saying so not bad but anyway um I had still haven't made room for the pasta machine and I'm just gonna try and see if I can um you know unbox it and take it out and, and get familiar with it show it to you here's the instruction guide right here and I love all this foam that it comes with. 
it's packed nicely, if you can see that. And so, wow, this is going to be a job. <laughs> with the light up buttons this was the last one there the other ones uh, which were more expensive actually didn't have these um, flashing buttons so I'm hoping guys that this is going to work but I obviously I'm not going to be making any pasta today um, here's the other attachment And um, this is the other one. These all attach here. And they all have a slightly different function. And so I can see that that fits right there. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> um, I dreamed of having a pasta machine like this. And now that I actually have it, I'm not sure I know what to do with it. Wow. Now this attachment is made especially for these machines. I'm not sure which one is for the pasta sheets. This one is for the noodles. And um, one of them is for round noodles, and this one, I'm very sure, is for the flat noodles. I can tell because of the um, shape of the grooves. One is flat, and one has round curved grooves. And so this is the one that I really want, the one that's flat for pasta, pasta sheets. And uh, not that I really need lasagna, but... Um, <laughs> That's what I really want, and I, I'm going to love this machine. So, um, that's the machine. Those are the attachments. And thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching me drive to the city. And, um, you know, then I, I actually just came home. I went for a little bit of a walk, but I didn't take you with me. And so... Um, here it is, the box, and now all I have to do is find room for them. So, um, okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.